sure to brace yourself for an exciting learning and activities here at episode 1 of Science A, your learning is on the way. Letter D, 
all of the above. You are done in our pretest. We will have the answer later. For now, let us watch this short video clip. It is 
formed due to strong compressional forces that push the crust towards each other. In this type of fall, the hanging wall moves up and the foot wall moves down. Let's do it with the use of our hands just like this. Again, great. Lastly, we have the strike slip fall. This is due to horizontal forces that slide the crust past each other. The two layers of crack between the folds are shifted horizontally or parallel to the fault plane. Again, let us use our hands to demonstrate the movement of fault. Again, wow! Outstanding learners! The movements of three faults generate earthquakes because when rock slip, it was suddenly released energy in waves that make travel through the rocks to cause the shaking that we feel during an earthquake. Did you get it? Excellent job! To take your understanding about earthquakes and faults, you may answer the following activities. Remember, you may use the provided answer sheet in Science A. Let us review on page number 3. Let us practice on page number 4. Let us practice more on pages 5 to 6. And evaluation on page number 6. Good job, learners! We are done with this discussion on how do movements along faults generate earthquakes. Let us now check if we have achieved our objectives for today. Again, we were able to identify the three types of faults, namely the normal, reverse, and the strike stick fault. We also described the movement of each type of fault using our hands. And lastly, we were able to explain how movements along faults generate earthquakes. I know that you are all ready to answer our post test for today's discussion. For the direction, write the letter of your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Question number one. What is a fracture or zone of fractures between two blocks of rock? A. Epicenter B. Eruption C. Fall D. Focus Question number 2 This type of fall is formed due to tensional forces that pull the crust apart. The forces move the crust vertically apart. A. Normal fall B. Reverse fall C. Strike slip fall Or letter D. Transform fall Question number 3 How will you describe the movement of falls in a strike slip fall? A. Moving sideways B. Pulling the side apart C. Pushing the side together or letter D. Pushing and pulling the sides. Question number 4. What refers to the sudden shaking of the ground caused by the underground movements? A. Earthquake B. Fall C. Friction B. Stress Question number 5. In which type of fall can earthquake occur? A. Normal fall B. Reverse fall C. Strike slip fall Or letter D. All of the above. 
Here are now the list of the correct answers. Great job, Mahusai learners! We are now finally done with our discussion for today. I hope that you are able to infer knowledge about the concepts on how do movements along faults generate earthquakes. Once again, I am your Mabu Science Teacher Judy. Thank you and see you on our next episode here at Science Day. Your learning is on the way. Bye-bye!